What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about the top 10 Canadian comedians. As an American, I am not very familiar with famous Canadians, so I'm very interested today to learn about the most successful Canadian comedians. That's hard to say, Canadian comedians. Canadian comedians. Anyway, <laughs> there's my vocal warm up. I'm curious also if I'm gonna know any of these people as well. Americans, we definitely tend to assume that all famous people are from America. I don't know why that is. It's like, it's like we think nothing else exists out there but us. I don't know. But it does exist, and today it's Canadian comedians, and I'm very interested to see who is on this list. So let's take a look. Number 10, Seth Rogen. What? Kicking off <laughs> I'm, so I'm, so I'm sorry for yelling. I'm sorry for pausing so quickly. Seth Rogen. Seth Ro it's just because, like, he's in so many, like, iconic movies that, we, like, a lot of us have grown up with at this point. Um... And I don't know what it is about him. Maybe it's like because his comedies are very like vulgar and kind of adult. Um, he comes across like in American kind of way. I think Americans, like most Americans would assume Seth Rogen is from America. He's Canadian? Okay, why not? Okay. Off our list is one of Canada's best young comedians. Yeah. Since his Freaks and Geeks days, Rogen wrote for The Ali G Show before showing a wider audience what he could do in The 40-Year-Old Virgin. Wow. Can you just flick me in the nuts? No. Flick you in the fleshy patch where your nuts used to be. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't know. I think it's because Americans stereotype Canadians a certain way, as acting a certain way, you know, polite and sort of well-to-do. Um... And Seth Rogen's comedy is just so not <laughs> well-to-do, if that makes any sense. And he also, he doesn't talk, like, with any kind of Canadian uh, accent, I guess you could say. The Canadian accent, you know, for the most part, isn't even that different from American accent. But you, you, can, you can pick up some words here and there, you know. You definitely can. And he, like, I've never sensed that from him. Man, I thought I, I was proud of my American radar, my Mer Ameridar. To sense fellow Americans, I thought Seth Rogen was. He's Canadian. That's awesome. It was <laughs> knocked up, super bad, and Pineapple Express that made him a household name, showed yeah. off his deadpan sarcasm, and held up the Vancouver stoner stereotype. Wow. Number nine, Russell Peters. Russell Peters. Okay, I knew who Seth Rogen is. I do not know Russell Peters. He must be famous in Canada. I mean, I'm sure there's Americans who know of him, but I've never heard of him talked about in any of my American conversations. Uh, he's never come up uh, at all. Oh, somebody brought a kid. Good job, huh? Good job. <laughs> this Brampton-born stand-up is one of the funniest and most successful on the circuit, Canadian or not. Nice. Anyone can relate to his routines, but Canadians especially connect to his unique racial experiences. That's okay. Somebody gonna get a hurt real bad. He also opened- <laughs> Okay, I, I actually love that he's actually a proper, he's a stand-up comedian. He's literally a comedian. He's not an actor or anything. Went for Charlie Sheen on the Canadian leg of his violent Torpedo of Truth tour. They can't all be hits. Number eight, Martin Short. Martin Short. I, I recognize his name. I, I even recognize his face. I did not know he was a Canadian. And I, I have to admit, I actually don't know what he's famous for or what he's been in, but I, I recognize him. This Hamilton, Ontario native began on the legendary Canadian <laughs> sketch comedy show, SCTV, and okay. has made us laugh ever since. Okay. The situation. <laughs> Yo, baby, you gotta chill the f out. F you, Mike. Shay Wow. Douchebag, f oh Characters my. like- Oh my God. So, uh, judging by this, <laughs> what, what is he doing? Um, he's like a sketch comic, at least to begin with. He was doing sketch comedy. Okay, nice. Ed Grimley followed him to Saturday Night Live, where he became a formidable impersonator. Oh. Hugh Jiminy Glick and great stage performances, and you've got a star in your hands. 
Oh, that might be where I've seen him. He he was on Saturday Night Live. I didn't know that. I, I just know I have seen his face before. Memorable roles in Three Amigos, Mars Attacks, and Father of the Bride reminded us he's one of the funniest Canadians around. Wow. Number seven, Norm MacDonald. Norm MacDonald? Norm MacDonald is Canadian? This is like, what the heck? I thought, <laughs> I thought I was more on top of this. Um, holy cow, these are famous, really famous people that I really admire, and I know their work. Um, Norm MacDonald, for instance, I did not know he was Canadian. I don't, I, I don't know why I'm acting so shocked. Like, <laughs> that's so weird. He's Canadian. What the heck? Again, I don't know why us Americans are like that, where it's like shocking to us when people we've kind of grown up with and sort of idolized and enjoyed their, their work our whole life. We find out that they're, they're like from a faraway land or something. And we're just like, oh, <laughs> oh I'm betrayed. What? Like, no, no. Uh, <laughs> there's, <laughs> that's cool that he's Canadian. I didn't know that. Norm MacDonald, he recently passed away. Um, so that's actually a bit sad. But it's cool that he's being highlighted in this list. You either love him or you hate him. <laughs> Born in Quebec City, McDonald would have ranked higher if he didn't make jokes about renouncing his home country. Oh, what? Oh, God, he made Canadian jokes. Like, anti-Canadian jokes. Oh, boy. Um, but that's kind of his thing. Like, edgy, sarcastic humor. Born in Quebec City? Does, is, is he French-Canadian? I, I, does he speak French? I, I, I have a lot of questions about Norm now. While his celebrity impersonations on SNL weren't exactly dead on, they were entertaining as hell. Yeah, I found this backstage, uh, oversized hat. It's funny. No, it's not. Sure it is. It's funny. It's funny because it's uh, bigger than a <coughs> you know, normal hat. Controversy is this guy's middle name, and yes. while that gets him into trouble, he's still alive and kicking. He, he, he's like the king of uh, deadpan humor as well, and really selling that. Uh, I think, uh, like... A lot of people were really, really, really big Norm MacDonald fans. He had a very unique style of humor, which I enjoy. I've never seen so many dead hookers in all my life. <laughs> oh, Number six, Phil Hartman. McNugget is released from Great Britain. Phil Hartman. I, I don't think I know Phil Hartman. I don't really recognize that name, and I don't really recognize him. So he's a famous Canadian comedian. Okay. To Somalia. Intercepted by Warlord. Born in Brantford, Ontario, Hartman's first foray into comedy came when he and Paul Rubens created the characters Pee Wee Herman and oh. Captain Carl. Oh. Hartman eventually took his unmistakable voice and impersonations to SNL, where he flourished. Come on, swing, baby, you platinum. You I, I, I've never, I've never heard of him. I don't, what, what is that? Is that like a, like an age thing? Or maybe I just missed him or something may remember him from such brilliant Simpsons roles as Troy McClure and Lionel Hutz. I'm okay. Troy McClure, and I'll leave you with what we all came here to see, hardcore nudity. <laughs> In addition to movie and TV roles aplenty, including a show with fellow funny Canuck Dave Foley. You're from Canada, eh? <laughs> Wisconsin, actually. Wisconsin, cool, the Badger State, the nation's... <laughs> I like him. He seems very funny. I like it. Dairyland. Great country out there. Number five, <laughs> Leslie Nielsen. Leslie Nielsen, okay, I, it, he is very famous, very, very famous, um, and I know him from a couple of different roles, like Airplane, I believe, he's also very, like, deadpan comedy as well, I did not know he was Canadian, and I, I don't know him all that well, but I know he, he's very, very, very famous and popular in America, so he, he's pretty well known. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Most remember this Saskatchewan-born actor as a hilarious comedian, but he actually yes. started in drama. Good thing he made the switch, or we wouldn't have the memorable Naked Gun series. By the way, I faked every orgasm. <laughs> Naked Gun, right. Um, I haven't, sadly, you know, I need to watch more of his stuff. Because I really, really enjoy him. I've seen clips of him from different movies, like on YouTube and stuff, here and there. And I've always thought he is so freaking funny and so good at the comedy that he does. Um, I, I'm a big fan of him without 
like being a huge fan or knowing it, knowing enough that I should about him, I think. Nielsen actually became the king of spoofs with his first comedic turn in Airplane. This woman right. has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. <laughs> but his most Canadian role came when he portrayed a retired curling champ in Men with Brooms. Oh. Number four, John Candy. John Candy. This is a really interesting list. This is really enjoyable. It's got a fascinating mixture of super famous celebrities that I've heard of that I didn't know were Canadian, that I'm still getting over, and a lot of people like John Candy here. Like, people that I've heard the name of, I know their face. Maybe I'm just like a generation like after some of these people. Like, I, I just missed them or something. Maybe it has something to do with my age. John Candy, I know is a comedian, and I've seen some clips of him. I did not know he was Canadian. I just didn't know much about him at all, actually. This lovable Torontonian used impressive impersonations and hilarious characters to win fans on SCTV. A breakout role in Splash made room for side-splitting comedies like Spaceballs, <laughs> Cool Runnings, Uncle Buck, and of course, Canadian Bacon. Uncle Buck. Uncle Buck. I've heard of that movie, Uncle Buck. I don't know why that sticks out to me. But I, I, that's the one thing I think I know him from, is Uncle Buck. Okay. Canadians <laughs> are so sneaky. His name is even on the Canadian Football League's Grey Cup as former part owner of the Toronto Argonauts. You can't get more Canuck than that. Wow. Number three, Mike Myers. What? What? Since when? What? <laughs> what? I'm getting my mind blown today by this freaking list. Mike Myers? Mike Myers. I love Mike Myers. So many. Everyone loves Mike Myers. He's awesome. Wayne's World, of course. Um, Austin Powers, to name a few. Holy cow, he's legendary. I haven't seen him in anything recently, sadly. Now that I think about it. He's Canadian? He's Canadian. I never, I never knew that. I, I want to stop, <laughs> I want to stop being so surprised to like, oh, He's Canadian? Oh, how could he? But <laughs> no, that's really cool. I just, I thought he was one of our own. I was proud to say I had some kind of relationship to Mike Myers, but he's Canadian. Holy cow, because he's just such a big part of so many of our childhoods and adulthoods, for that matter, here in America and, the, and in Canada and worldwide, for that matter. So I'm jealous. I'm, I'm jealous that Canada claims him for your own. I guess that's what I'm getting at. I'm so full of anticipation that my genitals have sucked up into my body cavity. <laughs> Wayne Campbell, Austin Powers, Shrek. Shrek. He's done it all. He's Shrek. After growing up in Scarborough, Ontario, Myers built an SNL cast of characters that included Linda Richmond, host of Coffee Talk, and Dieter, host of Sprockets. <laughs> but it was the pairing of Wayne and Garth that skyrocketed yeah. him to film fame. Yep. I'm sorry, I know it's your mom, but I'm afraid she's a babe. Schwing. And only a Canadian would have hockey play such a huge role in a movie. <laughs> Number two, Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd, I know a bit of. I did know he was Canadian. I only know him from like Ghostbusters, to be co completely honest. But I, I thought he's really, really funny. Really, really funny guy and great in that movie. There's no other pair of Czech brothers who cruise and swing so successfully in tight slacks. <laughs> this Ottawa-born blues brother prospered on SNL with original characters like Two Wild and Crazy Guys and Beldar Conehead. You have the co- the Coneheads. The Coneheads. I'm getting childhood flashbacks of co the Coneheads. They used to scare me a little bit. Um, there was a movie too, wasn't there? Anyway. He was part of the Coneheads. I remember that now. Oh, wow. You stimulated me. Let us return to the sleep chamber immediately. <laughs> of course, his unparalleled <laughs> writing skills and memorable catchphrase didn't hurt either. Jane, you ignorant slut. <laughs> Comedies like The Great Outdoors and Ghostbusters solidified yep. Aykroyd's spot on this list. Oh, yeah. And while he was in a movie called wow. My Fellow Americans, we'll let that go since he was also in Canadian Bacon. Okay. I did, somehow I knew he was Canadian, so I'm not shocked by this one. Uh, I just forgot about Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, he's awesome. Number one, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey, that's right. I forgot about this as well, but it's somewhere along the line, 
I learned Jim Carrey is Canadian after never knowing that as well. But somewhere along the line, I learned that. I forgot about Jim Carrey. That he definitely deserves to be number one. Holy cow. This whole list has been pretty incredible. Filled with a lot of people that, like, I have watched my entire life. Um, and Jim Carrey is probably at the top of that list for so, so many people. He had just, like, that insane run of movies. Like The Mask, Ace, Vent Ace Ventura, um, The Truman Show, you know, and then lots of stuff after that as well. Where it was just, like, hit after hit after hit after hit. Such a unique guy. Such a unique style of comedy. No one can impersonate it. There's no one else. No one can be Jim Carrey. He's one of a kind. Awesome Canadian. Coming in at number one is the man nicknamed Rubberface. <laughs> man. Dumb and Dumber. You are one pathetic loser. Dumb and Dumber. His stand-up routines poked fun at Canada, but this new market Ontario boy earned his stripes as the white guy on In Living Color. His slapstick talent made him a star in Ace Ventura, The Mask, Dumb and Dumber, and Bruce Almighty. But yeah, Jim Carrey yeah. tops this list simply because he got famous for talking out of his butt. Thank you for all your cooperation. By the way, do you have a mint? <laughs> There's so much. I freaking love Jim Carrey. Um, he does so much stuff that only he could do, and it would work. Perhaps some banaka? With so many hilarious comedians wow. coming out of Canada, we're sure we've missed a few. Who's your favorite? Wow. Oh. Holy cow. There are a lot of amazing Canadian comedians. There are only a couple here that I'd never heard of. I'm, kind of, I'm proud of that. Um, there were a couple, like two, that I'd never heard of. Most of these people I've at least seen before or know their name. And then a bunch of Canadian comedians that I didn't know were Canadian. And they are some of the like most favorite comedians in my entire life. I never knew that. I, I really, really enjoyed this. I got a lot out of this video. Um, that was kind of mind blowing uh, as well, but so enjoyable, so fun to, to remember all these people. Yeah, this is great. I enjoyed this. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment with your thoughts on these amazing comedi Canadian comedians Canadian comedians, Canadian comedians. All right, still got it. And, uh, or any Canadian comedians you think should have been on this that weren't, that'd be awesome to hear about. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Canada and Canadian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.